Back to the old days of the Citizen Forum, we're just going to go through four topics that we chose at random. And um, we have the six or seven videos, or YouTubes, underneath here that are just self-explanatory. This is pretty much what happened before. But there are a couple of things that are missing or that need uh, uh, further explanation. So we'll go through these. Uh, let's see, just picking at random. What do we do? First, generator gate. Yeah, there was one question, you'll see it in the videos, I don't think I'll patch it in, because it was like 10 seconds. There was a question, what, what's happening with it? Whatever happened to the chainsaw investigation, Where, whatever, you know, what was the final outcome? Has that just died a death, because no one brings it up any longer? Or the um, generator gate, as it is known through the county, um, it's been very interesting. I sat through the three-day trial. Um, it was very educational in watching the county uh, spend money needlessly um, when the prosecutor really in his heart knew there was nothing to get from that um, trial. Um, we, were, we were told, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'll try to wrap up. We were told that um, the county board would do their own investigation uh, once the um, prosecutor finished his. And I was wondering what the findings were from the county board, the board's investigation. Thank and you. there are other things that, again, uh, don't have the time allotted to me. But there is also a bill in front of the Senate that will change that. And I hope you would support that also. Thank you, Mr. Yes, Madam Chairman, I've been informed that it will be receiving that report in the near future. So that's it, the 10 seconds of explanation, near future. Uh, so apparently there won't be an appeal. That's the thing I took out of it uh, since, you know, near future. So that means Roman Cow has abandoned and he's back, to, back on the job trying to find out who took those generators. And we will get that answer in the near future. Well, probably after the freehold investigation, then the, uh, that needs to occur. No, I don't think they can step on <laughs> each other's stuff. Okay. And again, well, this, this will be quick. That was all. And the, the budget took up most of the meeting, and you'll see that at the bottom. Now, the next one, uh, I don't really have much on this one. But, uh, yeah, Mini Sullivan, as he's been. Uh, Sullivan was not present at this freeholder meeting. Conspicuously absent. Uh, a welcome absence, I would oh, say. Okay, yes, right. he was, he's choice the budget saver. Better choice of words. His job is done, or whatever that job was, so he handed it off pretty much to Hudak. Uh, I didn't really have much on Hudak. I mean, he's an RC graduate as his child, and when he's up there to, you know, window dressing, someone won't ask him any questions, and we'll read what he's told to read or say what he's told to say. That's pretty much where it uh, comes at. Uh, okay. Anything to add uh, on Hudak? Well, no, if you close your eyes and listen to Hudak, you would almost swear you're listening to Sullivan. Try it. <laughs> I guarantee. <laughs> okay, and then, all right, this next one. It's this one. Jala. First one, yeah. Jala. Right. Jala. We have Jala. All right, well, uh, Priola Jala chastised who I thought he was chastising was Bruce Patterson for asking dumb questions. And really, that's kind of something you learn in grade school, that there's really no dumb questions. There's just stupid answers. Especially when it comes to this type of budget stuff, uh, which, you know, deferred charges, what are they? Uh, you no, know, the cap bank. And uh, actually below there will be an explanation of the cap bank from, uh, well, a real professional CPA uh, who Kenilworth hired and uses uh, Jim Cerullo. So you, you can compare, you know, B.B. Taylor's take on it to, uh, you know, to the Kenilworth guys. And it is kind of a, uh, the whole budget process, it, 
this thing's like 300 pages. No, no, there are a lot of complications, there are a lot of questions, and just because you don't want to answer the questions doesn't mean that there aren't, they aren't valid or you don't know the answers. Uh, there, there's a reason these things are inflated. Uh, there's a $15 million increase, 5%. You know, you know, even a Marson coming down, you're told, uh, don't worry about your property taxes, there's a 2% cap, and then he gets his bill the county and it's up 5%. Now, no, think about that. It, isn't there an explanation you might want to go through, uh, you, know, to, you know, to humor us? So the sentiments of my colleagues in thanking the county manager, the fiscal committee, and uh, Director Taylor, and all the directors for their hard work <coughs> in finding savings in our budget, um, finding places where we could save taxpayers uh, dollars, I also further commend Director Teller for the hard work and repeatedly coming up to the podium to at some times repeat the same thing over and over again. We, we hear you clearly. Um, we thank you for your expertise. Um, you know, I caution and urge the residents not to compare the county budget to a municipal budget that's like apples and oranges. Um, certainly two separate entities, two separate uh, requirements, two separate budgets. Um, I've heard you repeat over and over again how this is under 2% cap, how it's a different uh, um, uh, standard, and I believe that um, I believe that um, the, the repeated questions um, probably reflect uh, a lack of understanding of that, or, or, or perhaps uh, questions that are disingenuous. So I want to thank you again for coming up here and repeating those uh, to the public so that it's understood and um, look forward to um, to uh, this part of the process uh, being done for now and uh, moving forward on working towards next year's budget and seeing what we can do with regard to that. Thank you. Hey, Mrs. Bruce, I, I, guess, I, guess, I guess Mr. Bittner uh, referred that Jala's comments, and I'm sure John Burry will put it on the uh, on the video, but uh, yeah, about uh, residents asking repetitive questions. And Mr. Bitter is in it that, it was, that it's obviously referring to me. I guess I'm the only one that really asks a lot of questions, so I, I, would, I would have to assume that he is referring to me. But the odd thing is, well, what repetitive questions it was, and, 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 and uh, JB1, <laughs> Mr. Me? Burry. No, you're no I'm too. too. Yeah, JB too. But anyway, Mr. Burry's talking about the cat bag. And, and to tell you the truth, Jala probably has no idea what anybody is talking about financially. So, so you know, and I'm not asking the questions for him. I'm asking for everybody's understanding. I mean, not only mine, but the public and also the freeholders. Because time and time again, I pointed out, the freeholders have no financial experience. So basically, they have no concept of what is happening financially at the county, and you can see that on the budget, and I keep pointing that out, that the budget is a total failure. They're total failures as, as leaders. So Jala, I don't know, Jala and his repetitive questions. Well, how about that? You know, there's a reason why I keep asking repetitive questions. It's because it doesn't sink in with you guys at all. So, I mean, that's, I guess that's my retort, if he was referring to me. If he wasn't, then he's... Somebody else, I guess, was yeah. supposed to be insulted. But he doesn't even... Well, there were only three people in the room. Yeah. <laughs> and, no, Maria. And Maria at your Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. So, but anyway, that, that's, that's how it is. Uh, okay. it, it's pretty sad when, when somebody has no concept of anything actually has to try to insult somebody else. But Jala, if you really pay attention, he says nothing anyway. So... Hey, it's not, not a tremendous insult. No, and he got the job at Kane College because of Farahi anyway, you know, because he was getting thrown off of the uh, county employ because he was going to become a freeholder. So he had, they, had, they had to find him a job. A job that paid something. Right, and Farahi being a fraud, you know, is obviously being manipulated. So. Okay. Okay. No, that's, no, so that's, that's, that's we've killed that one. Okay. All right. Uh, actually, I, I had another thing I'll slip in here. Uh, nobody from Summit here was there. Nobody from Garwood. No... no Pat, uh, oh, Councilman Lassetti. It was Pat Lassetti. They kind of blew this one off. No Berkeley Heights. Yeah, well, Berkeley Heights is never there. They're just going to secede and not worry about it. They're, they're past the point of here. But the last thing, uh, Galloping Hill. And you might not get this from the. Uh, well, I'll. Uh, 
Maybe, maybe I will, maybe I will. It was just a quick question. Uh, the uh, clubhouse is open, and on the previous thing, uh, the, the previous block, uh, Kenilworth is pretty much gung ho for taxing this thing. Uh, they're, you, know, you can see the YouTube on the prior block, they're going to go after them, they're going to tax the county. And they well should. It's a private enterprise. Kemper's making a ton of money off this. I, well, maybe. But uh, as far as Galloping Hill, they do have an event scheduled for June 19th. The uh, Union County Means Business will be there. So that's. Union so County that's, Women Means Business. Yeah, women. I, I don't know if that's something to keep me from there because I'm, I'm thinking of attending that. I am a business owner and in Union. And. Uh, I would like to get a free whatever they give. It's free though. I wonder how they're doing this. Uh, like, how would they? Who's picking up the tab? Because they've got all these ten-dollar hamburgers they got to sell. Uh, they said somebody sponsored the last meeting. Yeah, who would be sponsoring this one? Well, that's it's for women, so I can't go. But they print up a flyer. Uh, Tina, if you're out there, you are a Union County resident and a business owner, so and you might want to sign up. Yeah, plenty of time. And, uh, but the other point is that there is no ribbon cutting ceremony planned for the clubhouse. Per, I mean, you went up there. Per afterwards. me, no, per me emailing um, Jerome Carter a week ago uh, requesting that information. If there is one planned, and the answer came back, not at this time. So obviously, they're not very proud of what they've done. Oh, they jump at photo opportunities. Well, not this time. Okay. Maybe next build, major building project, there'll be a ribbon cutting. The ice rink, the courthouse, they are, there are plenty of opportunities, but not for Galloping Hill. And thanks for watching the Uni County with us, and enjoy the YouTubes below.